Tonight, we're looking on our computer for space hogs. Pigs in space. Nice. I'm pretty sure there was like a Muppets episode or something. Probably was. Probably was. Space hogs are essentially files that fill up your hard drive. So, you know, maybe somebody on your computer has downloaded a couple of videos that are all four gigs each, and suddenly you're starting to find that that little 128 gigabyte SSD is running a little low. So tonight we're going to learn a couple of tricks, well, a trick on Linux that's going to show us how to figure that out on a server. Oh, okay. Or through the terminal. Why are we skipping right to the terminal? Why are we skipping right to the server? Well, back on episode number 401, we already took a look at a couple of different tools. First of all, we looked at um, a program called Space Sniffer, and that is a Windows tool that allows you to graphically visualize the space usage on your computer. Brilliant stuff. Now, we showed you on episode 401 how to now use Space Sniffer in order to um, find that same issue on a Linux machine right. using Wine, which we learned about last week. So we no longer, we don't have to look at the GUI. We've already done that. Look at episode number 401 of Category 5 Technology TV. But what I run into and what you may run into if you have Linux servers anywhere throughout your network or online is that, hey, you know what? What do I do about my server when space starts getting eaten up? Where is all the space going? So tonight we're going to look at a terminal command that's going to allow us to do that. So over here on my computer, I'm just going to bring up Putty and I'm going to bring up uh, one of my Linux servers, which is going to allow us to show you uh, one of the ways to do this. So PuTTY allows me to log into my server from a remote location. This is just a terminal emulator um, that lets me in. So I'm going to log into uh, our gaming server, for example, and I'm going to become a super user. And here's the thing. A, a server does not traditionally have a GUI. Correct. And a GUI being like a desktop environment um, on Windows, that would be like the thing with your start menu. You're going to get somebody saying you said it wrong. It's GUI. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> um, so... Um, here on a server, I'm, I've got this remote connection and I'm going to bring up, uh, because I don't have a, a GUI, I, I can actually access it from here. Uh, so typically, there are a couple of different commands that we're going to use. So we can go df-h, which is disk free, and that's going to tell me, hey, how many, uh, how many megabytes or gigabytes are available on the particular disk that I am looking at, um, or uh, on a list of all the different disks in this system. And there it is. So there's my disk free space. So I can see I've got 9% use on slash. That's good. So now, if I do a, a du-h, that shows me the disk usage, which oh, takes forever. Yeah. It's, it's going to show me the ultimate disk usage at the end. Let's go to home Robbie and try it there. Disk usage-h, this is traditionally how we do it on a server, right? So it's going through all my files and takes a little bit of time to find everything that's there. And at the end of the report, it's going to actually show me a tally of how much disk usage there is. Now, I can sort that by the biggest files, and I can go through that kind of hoopla, but there is an easier, easier way using end curses. Okay, so this shows me a tally at the end if I were to allow it to keep going. But end curses is basically a interface for the terminal that al allows programs to have a bit of a GUI, a bit of an interface that's beyond just text-based. So the program that we want to use is, uh, is an end curses program that is uh, disk usage for end curses is n NCDU, I believe. So NCDU, try that. It says NCDU not found. So let's install it. apt install NCDU and hit enter. And now it's grabbed it. So if I type NCDU dash dash help, now I should see, uh, oh, it doesn't even have a help. Let's see, NCDU. Oh, it starts scanning immediately. Crazy. But I want to show you how I can use this tool in my terminal on my server to be really, really quick about it. So ncdu, and then you can specify slash, and it will show you the, uh, the usage um, on slash. But I don't necessarily need to do that. I'm just going to go home slash Robbie. And there's another thing that I want to do. And this is why when, when I run these commands, you see that it's running a little bit slow. Because I've got a lot of mount points on this, ser on this server, and it's yes. connecting out to other servers. So I want to say, you know what? I only care about the built-in hard drive. 
and the hard drive that I'm actually using right now um, in a slash home slash Robbie. So I do dash X. And what that does is it says only scan the media that is the same as home da- uh, slash Robbie. So I'm going to ignore any Samba shares, CIFS, and that kind of stuff. Hit enter, and now it scans everything. And almost instantly now, I see a report. And again, NCURSES allows me to navigate this with the keyboard. Uh, I'm going to just kind of move up here. Now that I'm zoomed in, you're not getting a full view. Um, there we go. There. So that's what it looks like on my screen. I can, uh, I can navigate that with my keyboard going up and down. So this is a mind test gaming server. So uh, obviously we've got a lot of maps on there. So in my case, I can go there and I can see, wow, survival servers using 6.7 gigs. Uh, our dome server is only using one gig. And I can navigate that and see where the file usage is actually happening. See how much faster that is and easier than using something like DU? It's just like instantaneous. So mm-hmm. that's a great tool for you just a quick and dirty Linux tip for you if you're running a Linux server anywhere on your network grab a hold think ncurses disk usage so ncdu is the tool that you want to install you want to run it as root so that it doesn't have any sharing uh, any violations as far as permissions go you want it to be able to scan all the folders on your computer and then you use ncdu dash x we learned about that, and then where you want to check. So slash would be your entire hard drive, um, or slash home slash Robbie is my home folder, and go about it that way. That is NCDU. It's available. Just as you saw there, you can install it on Linux with apt or yum, however you want to install it. I'm just going to tell a joke a week because I'm hilarious. <laughs> well, Garby liked it. <laughs> <laughs>